with Sakusa and Atsumu. What do you want me to see? So you know how much I am bad at cooking right? So, I have been practicing to make fried rice. Oh really? Yes, I want you to try and tell me how it is. Ooh okay, that sounds fun, and I'm hungry not gonna lie. Okay, sit down on the table. I'll make it right now. Sure, while I'm making the food, can I ask you a question? Of course. So, I was wondering, are you gonna participate in the game? Hmm, I don't know yet. Oh I see, smiles. You disappointed? I mean a little bit, yes. I wanted to challenge you. You have been training me for 4 months and I wanted to see if I improved or not. But you can challenge other members. I can, but it's not the same, I want to be your equal. 20 minutes later, it's done, I hope you like it. Smells really good, Atsumu takes a bite and smiles. It's delicious, I don't want to admit but it's better than mine. Really, yes, thank you, no, I should be the one saying that. Thank you so much for helping me become better. Atsumu smiles, placing a hand on Sakusa's head. Good job. I noticed he does this when I do something good. Does he think I'm a kid? Atsumu. Sakusa was saying something but stops hearing Atsumu's phone ringing. Oh it's Iwaizumi. Hello. Hey, have you seen Oikawa? Sai, what happened now? I was looking for him, but I didn't saw him anywhere. It's about tomorrow's preparation. He is in his room probably. I heard his leg has been hurting a lot recently. What? I didn't know about this. Since when? Seriously? You don't know? Of course not why do you think I'm asking you? I bet you didn't even apologize to him. Listen, friendly advice, go talk with him. He is scared, and you being quiet isn't helping. Atsumu hangs up the call. Sigh. What happened? It's nothing. I should go now. Thanks for the meal. Yeah, with Iwaizumi. That bastard hang up on me. I don't know what to tell him. Iwaizumi nervously walks to Oikawa's room and was about to knock on the door when someone opens the door and walks out of the room. May. Oh hey Iwaizumi what are you doing here? Did you come to see Oikawa? Yes, I was. Okay good. I was the last person to leave the room. Some of the doctors came before me to check up on him and they gave him some medicine. I see. Judging by your expression you still haven't decided what to do, right? This is a little scary, how you and Atsumu knows what I'm feeling. Even though I am clueless. Hee <laughs> hee, of course we're family. Take this. But, this is. You can give this back to me later. Are you sure about this? Certainly. Now go. Iwaizumi nods. Can't believe you're five years older than me but you act like a child. Do you want to get smacked? Geez, calm down I was just kidding. He takes another deep breath before going in the room. Oikawa was sitting in the bed, when he saw Iwaizumi, he smiles. Calling him to sit next to him. How is your leg doing? It hurts but I'll be better soon. Oikawa smirks. Ah, is Iwa-chan worried for me? Of course. He wasn't expecting Iwaizumi to be this honest, telling how he really feels. That was new. I'm sorry, I really didn't meant to make you worry. Iwaizumi didn't say a word and just picked Oikawa up. Walking outside the room with Oikawa in his arms, started to go towards the elevator. Iwa-chan, what are you doing? Let me go. Where are you taking me? Stop struggling, you're gonna make your legs injury even worse. Okay fine, but can you just tell me where are we going? You'll see soon. Oikawa smiles resting his head on Iwaizumi's shoulder. It's been so long. I remember you carried me when we first entered this gang seven years ago. Of course I remember. You sprained your ankle, whining like a little kid until I picked you up. I did not. Whatever you say. We're here. Wait. It's May's garden she'll kill us if we enter without her permission. Don't worry, we have permission to come here, she gave me the key. Really? That's new. Iwaizumi opens the door with the key letting the two of them inside, he was still holding Oikawa in his arms. After closing the door with the key, Iwaizumi lets Oikawa sit on the bench. It was a greenhouse type of place, the place was built with flowers fruit trees and many more. 
After that Iwaizumi walks to a site and clicks on a button. On the middle of the room where Oikawa was sitting, the dome-shaped glass cover open, allowing the sunlight directly hit the garden making it look like a paradise. It'll never get old, may put a lot of effort in this room I can tell. Yeah, Iwaizumi sits beside him, now resting his head on Oikawa's shoulders. I'm sorry, for always being so overprotective, I should consider your feelings more, Atsumu is right you're not a kid anymore. It's okay, you do that because you care, laughing, what did some sum said to you? He told me if I don't get my act together he'll ban me going on missions with you. Smiles, so what did you decided to do? Stop being a jerk to you, I guess. That will never happen. Wow, laughs. Oikawa pulls him closer and kisses him on his forehead. It's disappointing. PFFT you need to earn the right to get a kiss from the leader of the White Serpents aka, me Oikawa. Are you challenging me? Smirks. Who knows? Challenge accepted. Two days later on the challenge day, Atsumu was walking to the auditorium when he saw Sarah talking on the phone with someone. What is she doing? The game is about to start, hey Sarah. But before he could call her Akashi called him getting his attention. Atsumu come on, Suna is about start his challenge. Oh yeah be right there. They all go to the auditorium, after Kita explained the rules they all sit on their assigned seats. Suna was given a computer, Kuru made a virus and his challenge was to fix it, under 10 minutes. He was confident at first but started to struggle after he fixed one, the virus made copies and start to corrupt the whole computer, Kenma told him to take a deep breath, Suna does that and after that flawlessly removed the virus in 8 minutes. Suna was a little disappointed at himself but was happy that he could do it, and Kuru was a little salty but was really impressed. Suna walks to Osamu who was eating his lunch, he sits beside him and asked. What's ya doing? Eating sandwich want one. Sure. Oh shoot. I need to wash my hand first. No need I'll feed you. Okay, thanks. You did great, I'm very proud of you. Suna was happily eating his food. So when did you two became so buddy buddy? Yeah, tell us, are you guys together? No, we are married. What? Bro am I hearing this correctly? I I don't know. But Suna you didn't even propose. Of course not, you're the one who's going to do it. Nah, you're going to do it. What am I going to get if I proposed first? I can give you a kiss. Okay deal. Bro, hold me I'm gonna faint. Bro I was about to ask you that. So when are you going to tell your brother that we are together? Hmm, later. He has his own problems that he needs to deal with first. Okay, sounds good to me. Wait, you guys are not kidding. Of course we are, are. You meant to say aren't, right? Maybe, or maybe not. I'm done, I don't get you guys. Wait for me, don't leave me alone with these two. When are you going to give me my gift, for winning the challenge? But their conversation quickly interrupt by May speaking. Now I want every members to go outside of the auditorium to that big field, the next up is Sarah. She'll show us her skills being a sniper. I'll give your gift later. Okay, let's go to the field then. Yeah, first Sarah demonstrated her long distance range and after that she hits some moving targets, she was a professional through and through and everyone was very impressed, the most impressed one was May. She was happy that she chose some good rookies. That was amazing good job. Thank you. Up next was Sakusa, he was a little disappointed that Atsumu didn't tell him a congratulations before his match started. Speaking about it, Sakusa remembers, he didn't saw Atsumu anywhere the last time he saw him was when Suna was competing. He shakes off the nervous feelings when Mei called his name, his match was a combat, keep in mind every single weapons they're going to use are fake. Sakusa goes to the platform and waits for his opponent, thinking who could it be, when he saw his opponent, he was shocked to see it was Atsumu. But, sorry for lying, but the reaction you gave me was amazing. Sakusa smiles and spoke up. This is good, don't hold back at me just because I'm your disciple. Never, playing fair is the rules. Now, let the fight begin. 
Sakusa charges at him full force, Atsumu dodging every single punch that came at him. In a second Atsumu dropped down on the floor he was about to kick Sakusa on his legs to break his balance, but Sakusa on that moment jumps on the air, dodging the attack. Atsumu smirks. You got fast reading my movements, good job. Thanks, I learn from the best. But not as fast as me. Atsumu spins on his heel, pushing Sakusa in the ground with his palm. It was so quick that Sakusa didn't have the time to react. Hee <laughs> hee, should I call this as a win for me? I haven't given up yet. Oh really what will you do? Sakusa was reaching for his fake knife. But Atsumu caught his hand, allowing that small amount of time, for him to break free from Atsumu's hold. Now Sakusa was on top of Atsumu. Pressing Atsumu's hands down with his legs, and holding him in place. When did you learn that? It was a little trick, and it worked. Laughing. Good job. May, I lost. But I haven't won yet. You dodged my attack, so I will count this as a win for you. And besides, you deserve that. Thank you. This was fun, but can you guys stop flirting now? What? Are you jealous? Nah, I'm just excited to watch our boss's match, it's next. Wait it's going to happen now. Yep. Good luck bro, you very much need that. What? Don't you think I'll win? Laughing. So how long you bet the fight will last, Akashi? Depends on her mood. I bet 3 minutes. Nah 1. 30 seconds. It will take a second. Same. Can you guys stop betting over my fight? Nope. Now go get ready. It's your turn. Fine. Atsumu, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Who is the strongest between you and the boss? Hands down the boss, and you'll see that soon. Really? Okay. The fight between Mei and the member was so quick that they almost didn't saw what happened, it was like they blinked and the match was over. Let's go Mei. W what happened? Mei won the match. But how? I didn't even saw them fight. Laughing. That's our boss told you she's the best. Why did the fight have to end so quickly? Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry not sorry. Are you okay man? How I who? What? Boss I think you broke him. Sometimes later in the hall everyone was wondering who May will choose to stay from the three of them, everyone was surprised to hear what she has to say. I'm happy to say that you three are officially a member of our group. What? Really? Yes. Cheering. Good work. Two months later Mei finally told them to go on a mission with Atsumu. Sakusa, Sara and Suna, was in Atsumu's team. The plan was simple, Suna will hack into the enemy system. Causing the whole system to malfunction, and in that panic, Atsumu and Sakusa will break into the building, and after they successfully take down the members, Sara will snipe the enemy boss. The plan worked, making them victorious. Good job everybody. After that mission, they had some little missions in the following year and two years later something will happen that change their whole community. Stay tuned for that, to be continue. Thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. And bye bye, for now.